Mario's Time Machine is a game made for the Super Nintendo back in 1994, but it was actually a port of an MS-DOS edutainment game from 1993. In the vein of Mario games your parents thought you wanted, this one has history education wrapped up in a plot by Bowser to steal history's greatest artifacts. Mario invents a time machine, breaks into Bowser's castle, again, and is tasked with returning all the stolen artifacts. The gameplay cycle of Mario's Time Machine is select an artifact off of Bowser's pedestals, travel back in time, fill out a history book, and return the item to the rightful owner. First, you have to input the correct time period based on the artifact's history book. Then, a concept totally out of left field, time is an ocean and Mario has to surf to the right time. Collect 10 mushrooms while avoiding the spikes, then hit a whirlpool of time! If you try to return the item before filling out the history book, you'll get turned away. You have to run around town and collect relevant information to correctly fill the book. Carefully though, because if you get three wrong answers, you'll get kicked back to Bowser's castle. I give the gameplay of Mario's Time Machine a 6 out of 10. The title screen and opening story of the game look pretty nice and detailed. Mario walking over the hill when you start the game was a nice touch. As for the rest of the game, the environments are trying to emulate historical backgrounds, but it's really falling short with being too simplistic and jagged. Mind you, the biggest reason for this is that they're not images or structures meant for 16-bit art. Even Mario copying his Super Mario World sprite just feels wrong. This game's graphics can only muster up a 4 out of 10. As a kid, I knew something felt off about the music. Sure, I knew they were remixes of Super Mario World themes, but the sound font was wonky. I now know it's because the game was developed for a different machine and by a different developer. While it has its own charm trying to shoehorn in as much string instruments as possible, it all sounded very muted and dark. I felt pretty unsettled by the early game music. The sound effects were cute, honestly. Picking up a mushroom, or talking to a local, was a bit of a poppy, if not slightly scratchy sound. And of course, the classic Super Mario World jump sound effect did make it back unscathed. Overall, I give Mario's Time Machine music and sounds a 5 out of 10. When I first got this game, I was heckin' confused. The instruction manual was not helpful at all, and I was like, what am I doing here? Still not realizing it was an edutainment game, I would play mostly just to do the surfing segment. When I eventually tried to play the game properly, it was still so frustrating and honestly pointed out just how dumb of a kid I was. Really, the nostalgia hit of Mario's Time Machine could only be a 4 out of 10. Playing it now as an adult felt a lot better. It helps that I'm much more educated than before and that I do know the gameplay loop now. However, I did still learn a few more intricate historical details even this time around. I'd say give it a shot, if only for history's sake.